time work because there is it's too hot during the day and now we got mosquitoes there's the pumpkin patch Nathaniel's clearing that out over there wherever you just want and then Robbie's gonna weed these three containers right here and he's okay those and use the longer ones for this one. Okay. Right there is the ducks. We moved, see how nasty it was, to here. So now they got a clean spot. Filling up the pool. They got clean drinking water in the back. Their food's right there. And we're going to fill it up before we put them back in. Huh? He's cleaning there. I'm probably oh. repeating myself. Robbie's cleaning this, that, and this one I'm going to put perennial flowers in them. Cause it was kale I moved my kale so and the mint's growing everywhere which is okay it smells awesome I wish you could smell it it's just like really good it smells like gum and for next year this one and that one are getting right back there where those blue chairs are I'll pull that old rug out of there because I'm killing the grass and I'll plant my rhubarb so there see if the ducks will walk out of the cage into the water or not I got it opened. Go ahead. Go in. Don't sit down. <laughs> they sit down. Walk behind them. I know. I'm thinking about which way I want to go because it's pretty gross. Okay. Go. 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 Look at them just not going past the border. Go ahead. Go in your water. Go. Go. No, I got a thing right here. I can do it. Go. 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 Go off the door. There you go. There you go. I got it. I just had to open the side one. Oh. There we go. So they're nice and clean. Let's see if they get in there. Cool. Let me stop this. Okay, they're in there. They're just going to eat the grass and the bugs first, I guess, before they get in the water. Or the one's thinking about it. Oh, one's eating food. One's drinking the water in the pool. The other one's like, what's up? He's eating bugs or weeds or grass. See all those flies over there from that? That is gross, huh? Dogs are watching. What's up? Hmm? You guys just want to know what's going on? Still like 85 degrees old. 80 something anyway. It's not a pretty sight out here when you're all sweaty. Yeah, he's got some of it done. He's got to come back and get the rest. I don't know where he went. He disappeared. He's right there. What? What? I had to go put skin so soft on because I have mosquitoes biting me now. It's just dirt on my legs from working. Say hi. Smile. Good. Oh, just smile. Smile. He's not going to do it. He doesn't do it for my camera very much. Gidget. What are you doing? You're not Gidget. See, I said smile, Otis. Otis, smile. <sighs> Don't jump. Smile. Come on. How'd you smile when your girlfriend's trying to kiss you, huh? Got some catnip right here. I'm going to take up front and see what the kittens act like with it. Got catnip, catnip all over my yard. Why don't they have puppy nip? Cool these guys down a little bit. So those guys are heading this way. These, oh, she's already here. This one. I don't know if it's she or not. Waiting for me to open the gate. Okay, up there we go. Gotta do some water. It's gonna be a hot one. We got 11 days straight of hot wa uh, hot weather. So after getting this area pretty well cleaned up, oh. see my um, corn flowers and stuff, and my lilies are gonna be blooming. Another week to a month. I got this area pretty well cleaned up. There's a kitty, one of them. Okay, I'm working my way out back. I'm back.
heck is this bothering me this morning? I do like how my husband cleaned all the walkways really good. I'm going to go this way. I guess Gidget's going to show me the way. Or she's looking for a place to go potty. I don't know. Something's up. It's one of our burning barrels right there. My son made me when he was in school, and he's 36 now. Here's a view from this side. Here's one of the kittens. It's one of the ones I'm giving away. Got four of them. I think the kitties get themselves lost. There's the ducks back there. This is what we did yesterday back here, last night. So this is the second day, because it got too dark last night. This is the pumpkin patch, but they cleaned out those three raised beds, and now there's perennial flowers in them. So they come back every year. This way I can divide and do what I want with them. We'll see how they work. No, Gidget, don't think about it. The ducks, their water still looks pretty clean. They moved their coop. So we got that done. Tomato plants are looking good. Yep, these, a few of these have fruit. Right there. Right now it's like almost 8 a.m. As they say, it's best to water in the morning before 9. If you do it in the evening because of your shift, just make sure you don't get the leaves wet. If you do, give it enough time so it can dry before. There's the mom meowing. They're all fed. She just acts. I don't know why she meows so much. Give my babies away. I don't know what she's saying. It's okay. I'm going to water. Get just back to watching the ducks. That's where she was. Oh, she's barking at squirrels or something. Okay, I got all my tomato plants and things that need to be watered, watered. It's going to be in the 980, high 80s, low 90s for, I think they said, like 11 days. So I got to get out here every morning and water that. The other day I thought we were going to get a really good rain. Nope, we did not. So I still had water. And they say the best time is either before 9 a.m. or early evening so the plants the leaves can dry before it gets dark out so it doesn't cause mildew because mildew is not good for the plants so yeah my kale is looking really good right over there i'm going to take some in later for my salad yeah pretty soon i'll make a whole salad out here with the kale and the lettuce and the tomatoes and the cucumbers you make your own salad. It tastes so much better than the store. Yep, this is my view in the morning. So the sun's over there. Right through the trees. This is the sun. It's about, it's about 8 a.m. right now. That's got to be watered every day, that plant. The Mexican sunflower because it dries out so fast. Because it's in a pot, probably. And all my tomatoes are in pots, so I gotta make sure I do those really well. And then I'll come out later in the evening and check all my cucumber plants and stuff. My zucchini, make sure nothing really dried out bad, looks stressed or anything. You can tell when they need to be watered, sometimes they look stressed. Because you don't want to overwater. Sometimes I'm worried I'm going to do that. But just stick your finger in and feel for moisture. They're drinking water right now. I'm running around playing already this morning. Boy, your feet are all dirty already. 
got some dew on the grass. Okay, I'm gonna walk my way back up. Right there's my kale. There's a couple. There's one weed right there in the middle. And the other thing's a sunflower. Let me get that weed out. Oh, there's my kale. Yeah, I get pull them weeds out. Ouch! That was prickery. There's the kale anyway. That's a big sunflower. I planted sunflowers in some of them. Lettuces, different lettuces. There's a big weed in that one. That's a mixture. This is cucumbers. Cabbage, potatoes, potatoes, zucchini. Now the other's more cucumbers. Tomatoes. Got all these tomatoes watered. I believe that's home to 47 tomato plants. So I'll have lots of tomatoes to share. And no, I cannot ship them anywhere. They will die. This is a big weed. Right here. And right there's that pickery one again. And grass. And another weed. Best time to weed is like now because they just come right out. Yeah, it's just a weed. I was making sure it wasn't an onion or something. Sometimes I plant onions right in my plants. That would be terrible. What about the onions? Some of this lettuce is getting kind of. Get up a little bit. See these this way in raised beds you can weed them out pretty quick. It's not the same around the zucchinis and stuff. This is Robbie's. It's gonna have cucumbers, tomatoes. Um there is a lattice down there in the corner. <laughs> right down there. He needs to weed it, I'm gonna tell him. So he's gotta learn this for himself. Here's my cabbage. It looks like tomato plants in there. Cabbage, cucumbers, I mean zucchinis. Potatoes are starting to flower on top. Yes, potato flower. <clears throat> Got all those waters. That's another tomato flower. Zucchini looking really good. Got that from Alex, friend. And this is more cucumbers. I love zucchini. Hopefully we get a lot. I don't see any bugs yet. Thank you, Jesus. I try to plant later because so I wouldn't get all those bugs like I normally get. Plant too early and then they kill everything. See how this looks still moist. That's a, I don't even know what that is yet, but it was a free one. So we'll see. It's covering up my lavender. All that looks good right now. Don't look stressed. Couple of big sunflowers in there, and then the um, squash on the other side. And cucumbers. This is a mixture of cucumber, squash, melons. Yeah. My hands are dirty just from that little bit of weeding. In there, over here. See the sun's right up there. The flowers. I mean, them are gonna be all squashes as long as nothing gets in there messes it up. They all look really good. So I watered them really good the other day, yesterday morning. So I'm gonna check them later before nightfall to make sure. And my flowers are doing good. Nothing over there is blooming yet. So I'm gonna go in and relax and have some coffee. I'm moving this hose up here so I can use it in the perennials up here because if I don't. Get all that heat, all this is gonna just dry up. You can see the bottom of the leaves get dry from no wearing. Back to the beginning. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go in and have me some coffee. What do you think? Coffee time? God bless everybody. Have a good day. It's Sunday. Bye. We're going to have a, they went fishing last night and caught perch. So we're going to have perch and asparagus for dinner. Okay. God bless. Bye.